The topic of our discussion today is B lynch brace suture, a very important step in the management of postpartum hemorrhage. What is B lynch brace suture? The B lynch suture or B lynch procedure is a form of compression suture used in obstetric to mechanically compress an etonic uterus in the face of severe postpartum hemorrhage. It was developed by Christopher B lynch, a consultant obstetrician and gynecological surgeon in Buckinghamshire, England. What are the indications of B lynch compression sutures? First of all, when there is major PPS due to any cause like you try an atony, placenta previa, placenta accreta, coagulopathy, placental abruption, DSE or covalent uterus. Secondly, it is used as a prophylactic measure in the high-risk patients like high multiples over distended uterus, twins, polyhydramnios, macrosomic baby, multiple gestation, etc. Thirdly, when the conservative and medical methods are unsuccessful, then comes the role of the B-Lynch compression suture. And fourthly, when the uterus has to be conserved, then we make use of the B-Lynch suture. What are the complications of the B-Lynch lynch brace suture first of all the failure of the procedure secondly slipping of the suture thirdly suture material curse through ischemic necrosis of the uterine wall cervical stenosis hematoma pyometra injury to the bowel and bladder what is modified B-Lynch? Modified B-Lynch, also known as the richard hammond suture passed directly from anterior uterine wall through the posterior uterine wall now we will discuss the, dif the differences between the B-Lens suture and modified B-Lens suture. The B-Lens suture requires expertise and transverse lower uterine segment insane is required. It is time consuming. There are risk of cervical stenosis, hematoma formation and bleeding from lower uterine segment due to multiple bites. The modified B-Lens suture is easy to perform. Lower uterine segment insane is not required. It is less time consuming and there are no risk of cervical stenosis, hematoma formation or bleeding from lower uterine segment. Now we will talk about the procedure of insertion of the B lynch brace suture. First of all, place the patient in Lloyd Davis position. In this position, the legs are abducted to allow access to the perineum. The basic angle is 30 degree trundle bulb with the hip flux at 15 degree. This can be adjusted with the leg support. After positioning of the patient, pause an indwelling urinary catheter. Give an instill in CN or reopen the previous cesarean segment in CN. Give lower uterine segment in CN after dissecting of the bladder or remove the sutures of the recent cesarean section. Evacuate the uterine cavity and swab off thoroughly. Exteriorize the uterus and recheck the uh, and identify the bleeding point. If bleeding is diffuse, such as in cases of the uterine etony or coagulopathy, or in cases of the diffuse placental bleeding, such as in cases of the placenta previa, creta, or in creta, where no obvious bleeding point is observed, a bimanual compression is then tried to assess the potential chance of success of the B Lynch suturing technique. If the bleeding is controlled by bimanual compression, then we start the procedure. So 70 mm round bodied hand needle on which cat cut number one suture 90 cm is mounted is used to puncture the lower uterine in CN margin 3 cm from the left inferior edge and 3 cm from the lateral margin. This is the approach for the surgeon standing on the right side of the patient. The suture is then threaded through the uterine cavity to emerge at the upper incision margin 3 cm above and approximately 4 cm from the left lateral border. This is then fed anteriorly and vertically over the fundus to enter the posterior wall into the uterine cavity at the same level as upper anterior entry point. The suture is then pulled under moderate tension assisted by bimanual compression exerted by an assistant. The suture is passed back posteriorly through the same surface marking as for the left side. The suture is now lying horizontally in the uterine cavity. The suture is fed through posteriorly and vertically over the fundus to lie anteriorly and vertically compressing the fundus on the right side as occurred on the left side. The needle is passed in the same fashion on the right side as occurred on the left side. The needle is passed through the uterine cavity and emerged out approximately 3 cm anteriorly and below the lower incision margin on the right side. The two lengths of the sutures are pulled tightly assisted by bimanual compression and tied anteriorly below the lower uterine incision margin. This is the whole summary of all steps taken in the B lynch compression suture. The lower transverse incision is now closed in the normal way in one or two layers using vicryl number one or appropriate equivalent suture. Ask for the second assistant to remove or swab out the vaginal clots. Be careful for the vitals and vaginal bleeding. Now we will discuss the procedure of modified B-Lynch. Two to four longitudinal sutures are placed. Straight needle, full length thread is used for each suture. A transverse cervical isthmic suture also can be placed if needed. 
tie up simultaneously while asking second assistant to squeeze the uterus. So thank you so much. That was all about the B Lynch compression suture. Subscribe on Obsan Gaini. Allah Hafiz.